guys, welcome to Anytime Fitness. Here we have a review of this gym in 2022. This is it a good gym? What has changed? What has not changed? And what could possibly be done better? Prices, pros and cons, everything you need to know, amenities, everything you need to know, and if this gym is worth it, that will be at the end. Let's begin. Hey guys, now let's talk about Anytime Fitness. So, let's start with the price first. So this location specifically is 40 bucks per month, and each location is gonna differ on how much they charge. You get a $15 deposit one week trial if you wanna try it out, which means they give you a key fob, so you can try it out for seven days, and if you don't like the club, you can easily just tell them, hey, I'm not gonna join, and then they'll give you your $15 back. So what I see from this club and from this gym is 24 hour access, uh, but equipment is pretty limited, although this is their model once again. Not much has really changed with the gym. So of course they want you to wipe out all the equipment as a given, but not much has really changed. Things have changed from last year. First thing is going to be the social distancing. Of course people are a lot less cognizant of it now, they're kind of okay, whatever, I'm, I'm just gonna go work out and you know, just, do their own thing. Because last year people were a lot more cognizant about it, a lot more cognizant about, about the distancing, about their space, and of course we all need space to work out. This is just one thing I've seen, and another thing I've actually seen is actually the prices. The prices are about the same. I was paying I think about $41, $42 per month for mine. Prices have stayed the same. I don't see them going up at any time, soon at least. And one thing that this gym has is 24 hours once again. That's a big thing. This is their bread and butter, it's 24 hour access in a lot, I mean a lot of locations. Pros and cons. One pro is 24 hour access. Second pro is actually it is pretty clean. Third pro is that they do have trainers on staff. Now of course these trainers are contractors, well, quote unquote contractors. I don't know if it's the W2 or 299. Of course here it can feel a lot more private, a lot more like you're working out in a studio rather than a commercial gym where it's just music wiring and a lot of equipment, a lot of people all over the place. It can feel like you are working out more of a studio atmosphere rather than just a commercial gym atmosphere. The cons, one con is going to be limited equipment. Of course, this is a con that is high fitness. Limited equipment is a big thing with this gym. And you'll notice that once again, as I said before, I'll say it again, every location is missing something. Whether it's a bench press, a squat rack, whatever it may be. Like this location here, is missing a bench press. Like, I mean, and that's the most common thing you'll see is locations will be missing <laughs> a bench press, a full rack, whatever it may be. Like the last location I was at had two half racks but not a full rack, and they didn't have a bench press either. So, but it's but it has a full rack and a half rack with a bench press. So you were gonna have to sacrifice something in order to get what you need. But good news is that you can access any location you want to with a keep up after three days. This con is going to be limited classes. Anytime Fitness does offer some classes, but they can be limited. Now, they do have studios for classes, at least some locations do. I know of other locations that don't have any studios at all, they just have the turf and the weights. So some may not even offer any classes at all, but the ones that you have for classes, they do have a studio like, like this one. Pretty small studio, pretty small setup. You will expect to have not many classes scheduled throughout the day. Of course, it depends on location that you're at, but you can expect that overall with Anytime Fitness. Third con, I tend to think of this as like a hybrid. You can take it how you want it, but it's going to be different equipment from different locations. So it won't be consistent with the equipment, and so if you want to bench press one day, you're out of town, and they don't have a bench press, you're gonna to have to find a way to do to bench press, right? Or if you don't have a squat rack, which every any time is gonna have a squat rack. This just matters if it's a half rack, a full rack, or a full stack cage. You're gonna have different equipment and you're gonna to have to work with it whichever location you're at. So that's kind of a another con I see from this location. So that is another con I see with this gym franchise and corporation is that this the gyms can have different equipment and you have to kind of go by what they have. Is it worth the 
forty dollars, thirty dollars, whatever price it is, you know, is it worth it? To an extent, if you're a person who travels a lot, who has a smaller gym feel, who has kind of a studio feel, who doesn't want a big commercial gym atmosphere, then yes, this is worth it. So you get a ton of locations, a ton, a ton, a ton of locations. You get 24 hour access, you get a fob, everyone to access the club, you can do it. So, if you like that, then this gym is for you. But if you're not like that, if you like that commercial gym atmosphere, that big commercial gym, that with a bunch of people, with equipment, a bunch of equipment, the sauna, steam room, hot tub, locker rooms, everything like that, this gym may not be for you, and you should probably consider it somewhere else. But guys, like I have for this video, if you did enjoy, I appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys enjoyed the formatting content of this video and want to see more videos just like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, a big shout out to Wilson, Wilson Matthew. Wilson, I thank you so much for supporting the videos and watching this. I appreciate you so, so much. Like that. Thank you so much to Gary Vee. Yes, he is my guy. Gary Vee is my boy. He's my boy. I love him so much, dude. Gary Vee is great at business. He's great at what he does. So I want to get all that information I can from him. But guys, that's all I got for this video. Also, a lot of you not subscribed, so make sure y'all do that. If y'all want to see more videos just like this, more Jimmy Kiss Mission, you smash the subscribe button and destroy that like button and turn on that bell notification. I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm-hmm.